back at the Ontario Regiment Museum for the CBRT striker uh, repair. Um, can you guys tell me what the plan is for today? Uh, yeah, today we're going to try and get the uh, rockets to lift up, the rocket pot. Yeah. And uh, what we're doing is we're pulling this cap here, so you put hydraulic fluid in the system, it looks like the fluid's run dry. There's most likely a leak underneath uh, the lifting ram. And uh, inside we're just checking the electrical system to see if the uh, electronic pump will work as well. Okay, and uh, anything from you, Malcolm? No, that's it. We, we found a push button that uh, activates the uh, activates the rocket pod lift. Uh, there's a big hydraulic pump and motor down here that doesn't seem to be getting any power, so that's what we're going to be working on. Okay. So we'll get this. Uh, we'll get this. Okay. Get this cap off here and see if we can get some. Uh, there's also a hand pump, which I guess was a backup to the uh, hydraulic to the electric uh, motor driven pump. And the hand pump does nothing. There's a pressure gauge in there, and we're not generating any pressure. You can feel some pumping going on, but no pressure. So it's like Chris said, it's, we've got a bone dry tank here, so first thing to do is get some hydraulic oil in there. Okay. So we'll go and get some out of our uh, POL shed. Sounds good. It feels like there's a lot of air in the system. Yeah, the pressure just dropped. Going she's back come, up. Yeah, she's coming up uh, between 500 and 1,000. Yeah, it's coming up easily. And it's... Uh, Four rockets in it. Very impressive. No, it's, I don't see the... Uh, <coughs> yeah, fluid on the deck. There's... there's That's water. Water. Is it? Yeah. I'm walking. Because if I can get the shot back up here. So we've just been able to uh, raise up the ATGM launcher. Um, what did you guys find underneath? Well, uh, it came up easily. Uh, I don't know, there don't appear to be any leaks in the hydraulics, <coughs> which I, we expected, and which we kind of expected to see leaks, because the, the tank was empty. But uh, it, it worked very well. Uh, it's got a small ram, relatively small ram here, that, uh, that lifts it up to a stop. It's uh, stopped by a bar on the side here which also acts as a mechanical lock to, uh, to stop it coming down if, you're, uh, if you want to get under there and do some work. Uh, we found the four rockets are not surprisingly dummies, but they're quite, uh, quite good looking, quite effective. And uh, there's an electrical connection on the front here which is a bit of a mystery. It's uh, one on each, one for each uh, side member. Swing fires, right? Swing fires. And uh, three pins to uh, locate the connector, so I don't, I don't know what those are for. Uh, I'm sure one of our viewers, if you guys know, let us know in the comments below. Right. Yo, uh, Johan used the manual hydraulic pump to pump it up and it worked very well. It, it took about, what, 900 PSI? Uh, yeah, we were going between 500 and 1000 to raise it, and then um, when we went to fully raise, the, uh, the pressure just stayed going up. Or rather, it's kept increasing. So we, we uh, there is a, a push button operation for this, and there's a hydraulic motor, as uh, I mentioned earlier, hydraulic a motor-driven hydraulic pump. So we'll try and get that running, which will be pretty slick. And uh, that's that's about it. Anything from you, Chris? Uh, no, not really. Kind of covered it all. Except the fact it looks very impressive now. It's up. Okay. So we get the electronic pump working. And we'll It'll work a lot better. Yeah. It'll make a nice. <laughs> yeah. Pass me that big, long uh, uh, wrench. No, uh, I traced. Yeah. I traced the wiring back. This appears to be a stone right here, but I don't understand how it works. Because all it's got is a small wire. Right, push. Uh, let's get some power on here. Push the button. Press the button. Stand by. Are we getting anything? Oh yeah, it's oh. going. It's going. Yeah. We're moving up. Not yet. Yeah, 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 we've got pressure. We've got pressure. Is it going up? Are you in the race? 
position or lower? Oh, I'm in raise. Raise? Yeah. Don't like the stuff. Well done. Is that it up front then? It's all one? Is it working? Yep. It's probably back down now. You want me to keep going? Sure, yeah. Go away. That's more like it. Say again? Just keep going. Keep going until it stops making funny noises. Keep going. We're losing, we're losing pressure. Yeah, just keep going. That's, That's it. it. She's hit the stop. You can hear the pump start to labor. Perfect. Cool. Okay, now... Um, yeah, it's definitely a leak somewhere. She's talking about it, right? Showing that... Yeah. Uh, no. Johan. Too many go at that, eh? Johan. <laughs> Johan, could you drop it and uh, try the pump again? Drop it down a bit and then try the pump. Okay. I'm going into lower now. Okay, that's it. Stop mowing. Put it back on raise. Is it back on raise? Yep. You want me to pump? It's, it's dropping like a stone. Okay, pump. So it works, does it? Yeah, it doesn't need, doesn't need that heater switch yet. No? Okay, good. Where that leak is then? Do it, press the button. But it doesn't need the ignition up. Really? Put, put the button off. Try again. Yeah. Okay, it needs to master this can you? So there's a button underneath this white box to lift the ATGM launcher. Do you want to lower it? Yeah, we're all done. Yep. Okay. So it's, uh, I guess we've accomplished our mission, the, uh, the ATGM launcher raises and lowers, but what are your thoughts, what, uh, what did you guys find in the, the base of it? Well, it was, uh, it was easier than we expected, but I saw the main problem is just that there was no oil in the hydraulic tank, so after you pumped in the hand pump many, many times and pushing a lot of air and throw it through, it eventually came up very nicely. And then the bonus was uh, we thought we'd have more work to get the electric dri motor driven pump working to get the truly automatic action. And it turned out that the, just the relay was stuck, so I tapped with a, a blunt object, freed up the relay, and uh, the button worked and the pump worked, and uh, the uh, rocket port raised and lowered very well. Boring stuff now, filter changes, oil changes, I don't think there's anything uh, significant mechanically wrong with this vehicle now. The engine starts and runs extremely well. Uh, the steering now works, uh, I got the steering uh, brake, we got the brake pads all back in and red. So the steering in the main brake, steering brakes and the main brakes now work extremely well. I, I discovered in the process of testing them that these vehicles uh, neutral turn, I didn't know that. So with the gearbox in neutral and uh, you give it, uh, it up to about a thousand RPM to engage the centrifugal clutch and you pull one of the tillers, but the tiller bars back and one track drives forward and the track drives from the reverse and the vehicle pivots on its own centre line, which is really cool. Uh, so it's, so far it's been uh, it's coming along well. Excellent. Well, I guess we'll be back in uh, two weeks' time and we'll see what, what progress we've made by then. We'll see you then. Right. See you guys.